Hey guys, it's Sam for Digital Meet again, and uh, this is yet another real flow tutorial. And in this one, we're going to be dealing with the magic demon. So yet again, I'm going to create a circle emitter, and uh, let's turn my GPU on. Do 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 solver GPU. Use CUDA, and as always, we will make the display of the particles bigger so you guys can see them okay so with this emitter I'm going to uh, not do a lot I'll just move it up a little bit and let's get our magic demon in so real flow demons and magic so if I hit play not a lot happens and if we turn the magic demon on and off it doesn't really do a lot and that is because the demon turns an attached object into an attractor effectively it pulls particles towards that object well specifically its faces um, so we better get an object in our scene um, let me rewind that so if we go to the magic demon and then the magic demon tab as always we've got the fluid linked fluids We've got the effect, which is force and velocity. We've gone over that many times as we've gone through the demons now. And then we've got all these grayed out options here. And that's because we've got no object in our object field at the top. So let's create an object. Let's create a sphere. Let's make it, I don't know, 50. That'll do something like that. And let's pop that into our um, field. So now when we hit play, you can see the particles are being attracted by it. So let's grab our sphere and move it out of the way. So now you can see that these particles, oh, we need some more time on our timeline. Just wipe that up. So you can see these particles are now being attracted to our object. And given enough time, they'll swarm the surface of it. In fact, let's go to our emitter and just give it a volume something like that and then we can see what's going on so these particles will get attracted to the faces of the object and they'll swarm across it as such let's give our timeline some even more time so we can actually watch what happens when they reach the surface okay so they're all over it they're swarming around it and gradually coming to rest so let's have a look at our magic setting so like i said the effect we've got force and velocity i've gone over that many times look uh look at my previous um real flow tutorials and then we've got approach strength escape strength and then we've got the magic mode and random within face so let's let's go through these okay so the approach strength this is the object's um attraction strength so this is the the attractive force if you like um, and obviously the higher this is the faster the particles will approach um, our object so let's test that theory out so this is what it looks like at a hundred so let's whack it up to 200 and go back to the beginning and we can see that the particles velocity is a lot higher now as they speed towards it and now they're just getting there. So let's crank this up to say 600 and see what happens. A lot faster velocity now. And because of the particle's speed, they're finding it hard to actually get to the surface. There we go. We got there in the end, but it happens a lot later. Um, the escape strength. That's the next one on our list. So how can I, um, how can I describe this? the escape strength sort of dampens the overshooting effect that may be caused by the approach strength when we've got high values in there because um, it it counteracts the attracting force so that's that's what the overshoots uh, the escape strength does the magic mode let's just get these back to normal again okay so the magic mode We've got random face and we've got nearest faced. 
So basically, the nearest face, what, what the nearest face does, it basically says, you can see that it's chugging a bit now on nearest face, but nearest face, um, it causes the particles to travel to their nearest polygon. So let's just get the lines of this up, and now we can see the polygons of our sphere. And let's crank up our approach strength a little bit. So to 250. So you can see these particles here are trying to get to their neighbor, but as their velocity increases, um, they start to obviously orbit around the thing. So there we go. So these are attracted to the nearest face to them. And the reason that we, you know, you can see some of them are settled here, like this one here, it's just staying put. But obviously interactions with other particles will cause some to move. So that's what's happening there. With random face, um, it basically introduces a turbulent distribution of the particles. So um, instead of being attracted just to the, you know, the nearest face to them, they will uh, sort of scatter slightly, it introduces some randomness to that. And then underneath, we've got rand random within face. Okay, so when this is checked on, the particles will constantly change their positions over the object's surface. But with that turned off, they will get to their place. Let's try nearest face again. Face, even, not faced. And um, so once they reach their face, they won't be randomly moving around. They'll try, they'll, they're much more likely to try and settle. Um, well, that's a nice effect. Oh, that's interesting. They never actually get there. Hmm, very interesting. Okay, so let me ju let me just set something up uh, so you can see what kind of things you can do. Um, let's go to our emitter and take our volume down. Let's put this at zero. And we're going to turn that on its side. And we'll take our sphere and we'll move it somewhere like this. That should be... That should be all right, something like that. Let's see what we've got so far. Let's go to our magic demon. So you can see the, uh, the approach velocity is sped up considerably. Uh, so let's mess with some of the settings for the magic demon. I'm going to set this to let's random face. There we go, because it seems to calculate better there. It probably it's probably because the um, particles are having to think about. Oh, that's cool. The you know when they're on nearest face, it kind of bogs it down. Just because each particle has got to evaluate what is the closest face to me, and how do I get there, kind of thing. So uh, at least with random face that. That doesn't happen, and obviously you can see that the computation is a lot easier. So again, let's uh, let's set up our approach strength. I'm going to give the approach strength something like a uh, 100 centimeters. The escape strength can be 300, just so it's a little bit more. We can tame that. Yeah, that's a lot lot better. And obviously, I don't like the fact this is very oval. This uh, this shape, so I'm going to grab my emitter and go to the rotation. Let's turn it that way because then at least our particles are going to be on a more circular, some more circular distribution. Okay, so let's turn the emitter off there and see what kind of result we're getting. They're kind of spiraling into the middle. Okay, I wonder what I'll do is I'll make this 20 seconds and I'm going to use a um, demon that we covered in a previous tutorial, the kill age demon. Because then what can happen is, oh, beg your pardon, the age is currently on one. Let's make that 10. Go back to the beginning. Well, I'm not sure what's going on there. Oh, I've turned the emitter off like an idiot. So that scooches around there. 
and we get to about there. So it's about 9.5 seconds. I set it to 10. But now the particles are being killed off when they get to 10 seconds old. Which is good because it means our scene's going to keep running nice and quickly. So you can see the kind of effect we can get. This could be a planet. And if you wanted rings around it, you could create them like this. Um, in fact, the emitter, let's, let's make the emitter a different type. See if we can get it a little bit more. Uh, is it linear? I think it might be. Yes, there we go. So that's probably going to give us more of the result that we want. Yes, so you can see the particles are being killed off now. But yeah, so if you wanted rings around a planet or something like that, this would be the perfect thing to uh, to do it with. Um, I think that pretty much covers the Magic Demon. I don't think there's any other settings in there. Nope. That's a pretty good description of it, I think. Um, so, as you can imagine, it's like an attractor force, but you can control the escape, uh, escape velocity uh, required of the particles. You can see how this would be helpful in, you know, situations like this where you wanted orbit in particles or something like that. But also very helpful if you wanted a swarm covering an object or something like that. Okay, guys, uh, that's it from me. Uh, you can follow me on social media, Facebook and Twitter. Also, check out the Patreon page if you found this or any other tutorial helpful. Uh, help digital meet keep going, keep the lights on. Uh, a link for that will be on the outro of this video. Okay, cheers, guys. See you next time. Bye.